every action. Oh. Has a disproportionate reaction. Oh, Jesus Christ. It smells like Aquaman's having a threesome with a skunk and a tramp. Well, good day to you all. And what a beautiful day it is too. Um, today is the day, the day that I get my own back. Just to give you a little bit of an update. A little while ago, I was tagged in something that I publicly said I did not want to do. Um, the guys that tagged me said they would do this tag. Pure revenge. Just to let you know where I feel about um, tag videos. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not a very eloquent man. So let's have a little word from our sponsor. Burn Outdoors. Currently outdoors. About to do a friggin' tag video. YouTubers and Instagrammers that dream up some weird and odd challenge tags and just general tags for people to go out and make videos. What's the fucking point? What is the point? People have to actually go out and physically do the tag video. You can't just do it in a normal video. People that challenge people to do weird, horrible, nasty tags, like plunging yourself in a pool of frigging water, freezing frigging water, for 30 seconds or more. People who start those tags, people who start those challenges, you're evil, totally and utterly evil. I hate getting tagged, Nobby from Step Away From The Screens, also hates getting tagged. Us YouTubers and Instagrammers find ourselves being bullied, yes, bullied, by these people that tag us. We have to go outside and do the tag. Stop bullying us, people. Tags are shit, tags are crap. We all hate tags. Absolute load of toss. Thing is with tag videos is that if you tag someone, they can then tag you in a tag video that's even worse than the one you asked them to do. For instance, JRP Outdoors. Yeah, JRP Outdoors. Ash Outdoors UK. Yeah, that's you, Ash. And Dong Dippers. Dong Dippers. All those guys have tagged Nobby from Step Away From The Screens. You're going to get your comeuppance. You don't know what you're dealing with. Here you go, Nobby. Over to you, mate. Good luck, guys. I'm sure you're in for a stinker. I'm fortunate enough today to be joined by Brambled. Don't give the game away until we do it. Um, I don't know why she's agreed to join me, but she has. So, I'm now going to break down what you need bit by bit for this challenge. The first thing you need for this challenge is a tent. Then you've got to get inside the tent and do both doors up. Right, when you're in the tent, move to the furthest part away from the door, ensuring that both doors are closed. Take your shoes and tie your shoelaces together. Now, the whole idea of this is to test your skills when you're put under pressure. So what you need to do is get a hand operated tin opener, an old army issue type, or a uh, one on a Swiss army pen knife, and a can of Sir Stroming. Which, uh, this one's got a best before date of 20, it's got a best before date on it, Jack. That's shocking. So when you put your, your first pierce in the can, do it inside of a bag, because otherwise it's, it's all under pressure. As you can see, it's, it's sticking up everywhere. I don't want that squirting all over people's tent and me getting a bill. So, the challenge. Are you ready for the challenge? I'm ready, but it's really your challenge, it's not really my challenge. It's not your challenge, no, and don't forget, try not to swear. I won't swear. I'm just vomit. getting my uh, my puke bag ready. <laughs> don't swear like a fishwife. So, when you do your first pop of the can, 
You are allowed to put it inside the bag because it does squirt. I think I've already said that. I really don't know if I want to do this. Oh, are you ready? Go. Okay. You have to remove the lid from the can completely and for extra man points, take a bite. You don't have to take a bite, but you're gonna try. Let me just, all right. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> just kidding. Right, that's opened. That is disgusting. Look at that. Oh, Jesus Christ. It smells like Aquaman's having a threesome with a skunk and a tramp. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christ, what is that? <laughs> oh, freaking hell. That's bad. <laughs> Come on, me tin opener ain't working. <laughs> right, Jackie, pull my sleeve up. No! Pull my sleeve up! You gotta wash it. Ugh. You're cheating covering your nose. I'm, For not, all you... I'm covering. Yeah, whatever. It's your challenge, it's not mine. For everyone that is worried about social distancing, two of us being in the tent. I'm allowed to lay on top of her. I'm pretty sure I can sit in the tent with her. Oh, this is really hard to do. Oh, it's bad. Oh. You stop popping that. I've, I've, I've bought me duff tin opener out. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. I might need you to use your teeth. No. It's a bit of an anti-climax, you know. I thought I'd be chundering everywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's slippery. Oh. Why do people puke over this? Right, I can't do it. Maybe you bought a fake one. And it's definitely not fake. Pass me one of them so I can clean my hands off so I can get a grip. Thank you. Get a grip. So I have my uses. You do, yeah. yeah. Why are you not opening? This is breaking. This army issue tin opener is breaking. And I've got nothing you else. Not push it down, put, put it down there and try it. No, <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Look. Back in tin opener's breaking. Put it down on that and try. That won't work, trust me. Ugh. Prolong oh, it. Jesus why, Christ, you? it ain't working. Look, it's bending out. I'm not doing this challenge again. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. Millimetre by millimetre. You can't swear! You can swear, just not like you normally do, you fish wife. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, I'm not even halfway. Jesus Christ. Stop I'm not flicking it anywhere. I can't get close enough to show you. Oh, dropping it on the tent. Oh. 
Oh, there's guts and jippers everywhere, Jack. You just get in your mouth. Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's what you always say to me. Oh. Just get in there. <laughs> This is really bad. It's rotten fish. I know. I'm not eating it. So I'm good. That's not. Just get it in your mouth. Oh, the guts there. Ah. Oh, this is probably where it goes wrong. Are you gonna have a bit? No. Try no. a bit. No. Oh. Oh. It tastes like King Kong's dick. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, just kiss. Just kiss. Mm. That is pig and disgusting. Right. I'm sorry, I couldn't get the lid completely off because I broke my tin opener. Um, I could stay here for another hour and try. But I'm proper disappointed in that. I thought that was going to be that bad that it'd make me puke. As it made me puke. Sniff. I'm sniffing. Um, right. Disappointment is what that is. I need to clean myself up. So, I hope you guys puke for a week and have the stench of fermented herring up your nostrils for the next six months. Enjoy. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. That did proper, proper stink. But I'm a little bit disappointed. <coughs> <coughs> oh. I thought, after watching video upon video, that I'd at least get her chundering on camera, <laughs> which is the only reason I bought her with me. Yeah, I've, I've, she does worse farts, to be honest with you. But, um, That's probably why I'm immune. It is probably why you're immune, you minger. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully, John from JRP Outdoors, Ash from Ash Outdoors UK, and the Dipper of Dongs will have some sort of reaction where they puke their ring up. I didn't. I am very manly, so, you know, that could be why. Um, I do want to add one more who is a serial tagger, and that will be Gary Hart's wild camper of the Bushcraft Dads, because you tag me in everything. I now retire from tagging. Obviously, this was all a bit of tongue in cheek. I just don't like tags. Um, you know, stuff like the, what's it called, Jack? Leave no trace and stuff like that. I'm all for raising idea, uh, awareness for men's mental health. I'm all for just getting me to jump in freezing cold water. You can oh, stick it right up your Uber Duke. Proper sorry you didn't see me chunder. But, them's the brakes. In a tent, back of the tent. Shoelaces tied together, open up a tin of Sir Stroming with a manual tin opener. With the your other... wife! With your wife, girlfriend, or significant other. Um, what I would say is don't buy them cheap and nasty ones. If I'd have found my normal tin opener, it wouldn't have been an issue, but it just bent and broke. Alright, ta-da! So, how's the car smelling, darling? Not very pleasant <laughs> at all. <laughs> which is my car, which is even worse. Uh, worse for her, not for me. Um, that was a bit of a disappointment, I don't mind saying. As I say, I'm still hopeful that uh, that John from JRP will still puke his ring up. It could be that, you know, I'm used to your cooking or something, so I can handle it. Or the smell of yourself from your bad breath. Yeah, there is that. Um, she's a joy. So, what I would say is, if you are gonna, when you do this challenge, the Sir Stroming isn't cheap. Now you can get it on eBay, three tins for about 25 quid. Um, otherwise it's about 25 quid a tin. Um, so anyone watching this, if you are a subscriber to Ash or JRP or Dong Dippers, if they've got a buy me a coffee link, buy them a coffee, help out with the cost of it just to make sure they do it. Um, it is a rotten challenge, but I'm proper disappointed that at least one of us didn't get. Ain't you? No, not really. No? Not really, no. I thought she was going to get. That's why I'm disappointed. <laughs> anyway, I need to go burn these clothes because that really does stink. <laughs>